Kenya is one of the most beautiful countries in Africa, also in the world. Considering it's called the Pride of Africa, today I'm taking you to one of the most popular and one of, one of the most common markets we have here in Kenya. This market is located along the Kisumu Busia Highway, a major highway that connects two countries, that is Kenya and Uganda. This is what we are going to use as our mode of transport. On this specific day, I didn't have money, so I decided to use the bicycle. Well, here in Africa, most of the villages, they have bicycles. The bicycle just got a puncher and we can't ride on it anymore. Again, we have to repair it. This place is so hot. I think it's because I'm very close to the equator. Between me and the market is a shopping center. So I walked for around 10 minutes and I reached there. I repaired the punctured tire with 20 shillings. And then after about half an hour, we proceeded with the journey. Did I tell you that from home to the market was around 10 kilometers? So the bicycle again, again, it had some problems. This time the chain, the chain has withdrawn. We have to bring it back, but we first start with the back. Well, we have fixed the chain. It's time to proceed. Considering the model of the bicycle, it does not support shifting gears. And so riding this bicycle for 10 kilometers with that hot sun is such a heavy task. Here they sell uh, cows, sheep, goats. Yes, all kettles are sold here. But I think we are a little late, so I can't show you what's there. On the other side of the road, you can notice many motorcycles. Yes, we reached the market after riding the bicycle for around 1 hour and 30 minutes. It was not easy. So let's see what the market has. This market has predominantly the Luo and the Luya. Of course, it is the Luo and the Luya who occupy the western part of Kenya, mostly. And then we have the Kisi. But in this side, it's only the Luo and the Luo. Also, we have some Kikuyus, but a few of them. Yeah. Yes, everyone was busy selling and advertising their merchandise. But let me tell you this, shooting this video is one of the hardest things I have ever done. Not a single person wanted us to shoot him. So the camera was a bit hidden. So I moved to the side where there's fish. This place had a very awful smell, the kind of smell that a dead fish produces. My stomach was almost exploding because of the awful smell. Now, let me show you the kind of fish that we had in the market. Here, we had the dried and smoked fish. It was not the English red herring, instead it was the tilapia. Most of the fish in this market are caught in Lake Victoria. Some even come all the way from Lake Turkana. Also, we had the omena. I don't know what the name in English. As I told you before, not everyone was hospitable and this greatly limited my access to the market. However, to those who were willing, I was able to create some good videos for you. See for yourself. Apart from trench coats, I am a huge fan of denim jackets. So while I was walking, I found this guy. Apparently, most of the Kenyan cloth market is the second-hand clothes. Codename Mutumba. It's what many Kenyans can afford. Looking for a denim, but we don't have any denim. How much is the price? My friends say that I love asking a lot of questions. As of this Saturday, the denim man was my subject. I wanted to ask all the price of each denim, all and all. <laughs> this test and I understand. Okay, thank you. How do I look? Fine. Most of the second-hand clothes we receive here in Kenya come from the United States and Great Britain. As a means of livelihood, these clothes really help people. Like this specific woman, I know her. She is from my village. She has done this business for over 10 years. Over 70% of the world population has a need for second-hand clothing. The demand for used textiles is large, especially in third world countries. 
Before these used textiles can be transported to Africa, they undergo an extensive and careful selection process. This good woman is explaining why she's selling maize so expensive. The Kenyan economy has been infested by the bug from Eastern Europe. Everything has tripled. For instance, the price of 2 kg of maize is always 70 shillings, that is the standard price, but now it's 200 shillings. Based on the research data from world organizations such as the UK and the USAID, maize is the staple food here in Kenya. This was happening on my way back home. Between me and poverty, there was only 10 shillings. That is around one penny US dollars. There are a few good men left in this universe. One of them is this man. This is because the fastest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Try and see. You'll realize I'm telling you the truth. I'm so tired of riding the bicycle, so I've just decided to walk while eating my sugar cane. Wow. He has just fallen. That's my young bro. He's the one having the bike right now. In the totality of reality, everything that God made was good. He also separated the upper waters from the lower waters. By now I was feeling like I was stranded in the middle of the Nevada desert. Alan Van Valkenburg knows. He's been a park ranger in Death Valley for over a decade. Turns out this water pump did not have the lower waters, even a single drop. It came to my mind that that was a historical site that was built by three governments. The Turkish government, the European Union, and of course, the government of Kenya. Approximately one month ago, I made a video about South Africa and Nigeria. That video had a very good response. Most of the viewers, around 75% are from South Africa. And so I was thinking, if you want me to continue making such videos, please tell me. Because I'm very close to 70. This one is also... Holy made in Uganda.